We all remember that special time of year when our parents took us to buy our school supplies. We would pack and repack our school bag, waiting for the first day of school to finally arrive. One item that seemed to be on that list year after year was crayons. Children can't wait for that moment to finally have the opportunity to use that new box of crayons. Young children express their creativity more than anything else with their box of crayons. This has been true for over a hundred years and is largely due to the efforts of one American company. Edwin Binney and Harold Smith founded Binney and Smith Incorporated in New York City in the late 1800s. In the beginning, they specialized in industrial colorings, including the pigments that made country barns red and automobile tires black. Later, they began to make slate pencils for students. At the St. Louis World Exhibition in 1902, they won a gold medal for their new product for teachers, the first dustless chalk. While touring schools with these two items, company salesmen saw a need for safe, affordable, colored crayons. At this time, wax crayons were big, dull colored, and clumsy, and mainly used in industry. But Benny and Smith used a combination of paraffin wax and industrial pigments to create crayons that were kid-friendly. In 1903, the first yellow and green box of eight Crayola crayons appeared. They were an overnight success and sold for a nickel a box. The Crayola name was coined by Alice Benny, wife of company founder Edwin and a former school teacher. The name Crayola means oily chalk. The original box of eight included the colors black, brown, orange, purple, blue, green, red, and yellow. Since 1903, Crayola crayons have expanded on that success in a number of ways. There are more colors. In 1949, the 48 box was introduced. The classic 64 box in 1958, with its signature built-in sharpener, becoming the perennial favorite of Crayola colorers for more than 40 years. The big box of 96 debuted in 1993. Today, over 2 billion crayons are sold per year in 60 countries. Crayolas have also changed with the times. In 1962, the color flesh was changed to peach since not everyone's skin is such a color. In 1992, multicultural crayons, an assortment of skin tone based colors that let children more accurately color themselves, were also introduced. In 2003, the Crayola brand celebrated 100 years of making the world a more colorful place for children. Blue still ranks number one as the consumer's favorite Crayola color, and six other shades of blue finish in the top ten. Crayola crayons have been part of childhood from their beginnings. Isn't it comforting to know that an idea from over 100 years ago still thrives, and that by age 10, the average child in the United States will wear down approximately 730 crayons, or 11.2 boxes of 64. Kids still love to color with crayons, and they probably always will.